Morning cactus people and welcome to Ziggy's Cactus House. It's a lovely February morning and at the moment in here it's 12.6 Celsius which is good uh, but this morning it was down to 0.9 of a, a degree again so very close to freezing. This is the slightly warmer section of the cactus house so this was above freezing although parts of the main cactus house were below freezing last night. Uh, firstly we want to have a look at um, the Myrtillo cactus. This is for our friend Anders who's uh, concerned about his uh, specimens he's got in Denmark and we noticed this one has got a bit of brown staining. Uh, this one was on the edge of the protected part had a bit of fleece over all its friends and its friends are fine it's just the uh, skin has suffered a bit here I don't want to go poking this around because it's going to ruin the bloom on the, the thing um, and look unsightly but just giving it a gentle prod there it doesn't feel like it's any more than surface damage so we'll keep an eye on that one I'm pretty sure it's going to be alright um, yeah, I've got six of them in here and this is one of the others which was literally inches away from that one and he seems fine doesn't appear to be any uh, cold damage on that so not too concerned about those but um, the other reason we're having a look this morning is the Pulaskia cacti um, I'm sure they were fine when I checked them the other day there's one over here, another one there, and this is the one that was concerning me. Uh, I noticed it's got a black patch at the top, which is um, obvious frost damage that's ca that caught the top of that one. Surprising because the, the puntias around it didn't get affected, so maybe it's not frost damage, it might just be. It had some drips and the pot was wetter than the others, not quite sure. But we'll be having that out, that won't survive like that. Uh, so in a minute we're going to be doing a bit of emergency surgery on that. Okay, so here's the plant after we've got it out of the uh, tent. As you can see that damage is... Uh, quite deep. Um, it's actually the skin's collapsed on there and there's mould in behind that so it might not be frost damage it might just be a fungus but we're not going to take any chances. Uh, here's a, a younger one I bought just to pull out just to show you. It's been in the same place same temperature and conditions and there's no damage on that. I've got several of these and they all look fine. Uh, but for this one, we can't leave it like this, so we're going to have to take the top off. And it's quite nasty spikes, <coughs> so we get hold of it with something firm. I'm going to cut an inch or so below the damage and hope it hasn't gone any further. Ooh, it does feel quite soft on the top. This blade has got a bit of a serrated edge which makes things easier. Oh well it's come off quite nicely as you can see. It hasn't gone all the way down which is good. So we'll dispose of that bit very soon. And in the meantime this is just sulphur. Uh, we're going to put that on to stop any further infection hopefully. Um, <coughs> if you use your wash toothbrush, make sure you clean it properly and put it back. And don't put a video like this on YouTube until after she's brushed her teeth again. Otherwise, it'll be all hell. All hell will break loose. Only kidding. Um, just dab it. quite wet so this is forming a, a sort of paste and it's very important to keep your eye on this because if this infection carries on down 
Well, the damage carries on down. You'll need to take more off. So we'll be monitoring this very, very closely until this is calloused over. Once it's calloused over, then I've taken off the growing point, so it will probably produce multiple um, heads on the top, new growth. Okay, so that's that bit. You can see just covered. And have a quick look around. I can't see any further damage on the plant, so keep me cross that uh, although it's not likely I'll be able to sell this one like this, but at least it will produce more plants that I can uh, then root off to make separate plants. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.